What is going on SafeMoon Army? It is SafeMoon Surge here yet again with another video for you all today. To all the new viewers, welcome to SafeMoon, a community-driven innovation for good. To all the reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support each and every single one of you have shown me. It truly means the world. Now, if you are a new viewer and you're a new SafeMoon holder, make sure to consolidate to V2 if you have not yet. Um, you most likely will be buying V2. But if you have not and you are a old SafeMoon holder, make sure to consolidate. You can do that via the wallet or the swap here on the website, which is also known as their a decentralized exchange. But that is also on the wallet, so you could do it there. Now, with that being said, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Also, feel free to come watch this AMA from this past Sunday if you guys want to. A lot of people have been talking about it. Honestly, at the end of the day, everybody's entitled to their own opinions, but you can make your own conclusion if you have not watched it yet. But with that, make sure to come and subscribe, like, and comment on my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Now let's take a quick look at the amount of V2 addresses we currently have. We have 613,482. Current price right now is 201721. Seems as if we're consolidating around that 2017 as of right now. It could be a good opportunity for to for you to dollar cost average down if you choose to. Uh, but point being is that is where we're at with the price of Safe Moon. Now, there were some things talked about yesterday that I think is very important. So let's go ahead and head over here to Twitter. Now, first thing I want to start off with, this was from yesterday's Safe Moon Mooncast, okay? Um win safe moon on mandela mandela keep your eyes open it's not going to be very long i promise that not going to be very long at all that's all i can say so listing soon with tokenomics safe moon and reflections so this is going to be amazing once they implement this um, and it would be the first exchange centralized exchange implementing tokenomics which is massive now john caroni did talk about the blockchain many how many are actually implementing uh well if we wanted to just build a blockchain we can just fork it that's not what we want to do it's about the use case of the blockchain what are the features of the blockchain why does it exist outside of just creating a coin the point of our blockchain is to connect people it is a piece of the overall ecosystem now keep in mind their whole goal Everyone knows SafeMoon is a tech company, and they're trying to integrate it all within their blockchain. They're trying to do everything that they're doing with Project Phoenix. They're trying to do everything that they're doing with the exchange, a centralized exchange, being able to actually spend your crypto, not just have it and hold it, right? So they're trying to figure out ways to properly build out this blockchain for the long haul, not just for something for people to build off of or just to have a coin. They're trying to do this right which is amazing. Honestly, in my opinion, take the time that they need because when that blockchain does come out, it's going to be huge. So here is another thing from John Caroni. A lot. There's fallacy regarding a lot of projects. One of the issues I see with a lot of projects is they don't take an account for the human element. Prime example is DAOs. It is advertised as the... Uh, Cratization of something. However, just like in real life, those with deep pockets can end up controlling the DAO anyways. And once that control is solidified, there is there is little that folks can do to outvote the DAO well. The intent of a DAO is to give a voice. What ends up happening most of the time is it's only the voice of the largest holder of the DAO token. Now, I'm not saying DAOs are bad, and I'm not dissuading folks from them. I'm just saying... Most don't take into the account the human element. So there you have it. John Caroni with some, some uh, wisdom for us. Now, this was actually on a player recording. The exchange is being built as we speak. You guys will have an exchange this year. We will be having an exchange this year re in regard, uh, according to Ryan Ariaga here. So I'm going to play a clip, but just let's keep going through here and let you guys know now this was john caroni talking about the safe moon sunday didn't get out of anything safe moon sundays are are in a way a change log 
Developers do this, but they put the updates only on the app or game. We also do a video talking about the changes. Some Safe Moon Sundays we don't have the sexiest of updates, but every update is important. Like this one was a big update. New big feature added in, NFT support, and it only goes from there. We also have other stuff that we want to hold off on announcing as we don't have a clear delineation of timelines of them. When you actually are dealing with unknowns and new terrain, also known as innovating, it is difficult to predict the time it takes to complete a task. Post restructure, we are now finally able to start gauging averages and build times as we have the personnel in place to track it. And we have collected enough performance data to be able to estimate a time of delivery, storming, forming, norming, performing. Now, here's another thing, right? Why would they give us a safe moot, some massive bombshell on this AMA? I honestly wasn't even expecting much from this AMA, to be honest, because of the fact that the first year anniversary for Safe Moon is literally two, three weeks away. It's not even a month away. Okay. That's when they're going to give us the bombshell. That is why would they do that right before? Why would they give us any kind of update? Right. They want to keep us informed and still deliver on giving us an AMA. And they still gave us a Safe Moon wallet update with an, a collectibles feature in there. Look, at the end of the day, they are going to give us. A huge announcement for the first anniversary that's what we should focus on that's what we should be looking forward to because that is when we're going to get a massive announcement and also according to john caroni that's when they are going to give us a big surprise could that big surprise be stuff that we may or think it may be possibly possibly it could be something in regards to the exchange it could be something in regards to who knows what it could be right but at the end of the day it's going to be a big surprise and it's John is not going to let us down on our first year anniversary. I hope not, because if he does, then yes, I am going to be very frustrated, right? But at the end of the day, for 1 AMA that's in the middle of February, where we've already gotten so many great partners on the swap, and we've got a wallet update, look, let's, let's be honest. This is not the month we should be getting excited. It should be next month in April and May. Those are the three months that's always historically speaking always been bull runs for DeFi and crypto look we are going to get some catalysts coming up and not only that but mandela is going to most likely have us live at the end of the month right in two weeks possibly or at the beginning of march so there's going to be multiple catalysts coming in march which could be great for us so just keep that in mind safeman army just keep that in mind um and while in NFT integration is not new. I'm not taking into account just that feature. It's what additional integrations we have to plan for, which dictates how we build that feature and in which order we build the feature. So there you have it. And here again, you have some more some more from the Safe Moon Hound, Ryan Ariaga. My Valentine's Day is with work for the Safe Moon Army tonight. We will continue to move forward and make progress as we always have. Now here, I'm going to play the clip. No, the volume is off. I'm here to tell everybody. Can you can you guys hear me? I'm in my truck right yes. now. I'm actually heading over to a big meeting today. Um, I'm meeting with sales, and, and we're going to go over some technical aspects of a huge meeting that we have lined up today. I just wanted to jump on for a second and tell everybody here that we hear each and every one of you. This exchange is being built as we speak. If we didn't give an update, then you know what? It's because we have nothing to say as of now, but I will say this. We are working very, very hard for you guys. You guys will have an exchange. And as a matter of fact, we've been working on some front end work for it. We're really tightening down a lot of the, uh, the front end uh, uh, UX and UI for it. But you guys will have an exchange and we are making progress on that. And that exchange will be released this year. So I'm not going to say any time frames because we've done that in the past and that has not gone well, especially when we're in, in emerging tech. But I'll tell you, this team is passionate and they are here working night and day for each and every one of you. The blockchain is making progress as well. And as we have more upgrade updates on that, we will definitely share with you guys, but this is not a zero sum game guys. 
Safe Moon, these are just products in the Safe Moon ecosystem. And maybe, I think that maybe from our end, we're thinking of this as, well, this is how a company grows. It takes, it takes time. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. And what we've done and what we've accomplished in just under a year is unfathomable for many, many people that I've talked to from big companies that have messaged me, developers of huge Fortune 100 companies that said, I don't know how you're moving so fast, especially in the emerging tech space. We always have to remember, we have to pull this back, guys, and always remember where we came from. You know, and, I, and we see a lot of stuff out there. If, if some of you can remember, remember when the wallet, before we launched the wallet, everybody said that we wouldn't do it. Everybody was upset that it wasn't a thing. Everybody, a lot of people lost faith in us. Remember, you're here for us. We're here for each other. And we will keep pushing forward and we'll keep pushing that ball forward. We have made great progress on the exchange and you guys will love it. And we've made great progress in all the products that we've already launched and we continue to improve. But think bigger because we're thinking bigger here back here as well and this ecosystem is gonna be huge. The blockchain, the exchange, those are just gonna be great products that we have, but we're not stopping there. So we always have to remember it and, and pull it back. And you know, there's things that we have to do too to improve our messaging and ensure that everybody kind of sees it the way we see it. You know, I've been in product for over, uh, over a decade. I've been in tech for over 15 years. And for me, for someone like me, obviously it's very obvious to know that, well, Rome wasn't built in a day. Tech takes a really long time to build and to do it right and do it secure. And we're focused on that. But I think a lot of people, there's a dis... So that pretty much covers that uh, in regards to the Safe Moon Hound telling us more about the exchange. And also we have Chainlink token also listed now on the Safe Moon Swap. If you guys do not know, it's on the Ethereum side. So which is another great update that we didn't even see. A lot of people missed that. So there you have it. Now, if you have not yet, make sure to follow me on Twitter here at Safe Moon Surge. Again, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I will talk to you all in the next one.